ओके हेलो दिस इज डॉक्टर प्रसाद पुदीलम कंटिन्यूइंग द क्लास सीरीज ऑन बायोलॉजी फॉर इंजीनियर्स बीबी ओके 407 दैट इज फॉर नॉन कंप्यूटर साइंस स्ट्रीम स्टूडेंट्स 2022 बैच 2022 एडमिशन बैच स्टूडेंट्स ऑन मार्च मॉड्यूल 2 टॉपिक सेकंड टॉपिक ऑफ मॉड्यूल 2 दैट इज पॉलीहाइड्रोक्सी अल्कोनाइट पॉलीलैक्टिक एसिड बिफोर दैट दोस आर नॉट सब्सक्राइबड प्लीज प्रेस दैट सब्सक्राइब बटन Uh, i need to reach a target at the earliest of the subscribers count at the earliest compared to other people who are handling biology for engineers that is it my personal personal target which i kept up uh, your support is required for that uh, please do support me in this particular case of giving subscription count okay explain how polyhydroxy alkanoate and polylactic acid are used as bioplastic evaluate their potential environmental benefits compared to the traditional plastics pha pla this molecular structure known it by heart as such only for reference it is given polyhydroxy alkanoate it is represented like this that is only a general name pha pha phv phx pho phd these are all of the same category which are used uh, on the particular application fine tuning properties also there pla polylactic acid the structure is mentioned here molecular formula is given here so both you can see the uh, the bond structure if you see consists of carbon oxygen uh, co and again carbon co c bond co co bond that is called ester linkage both pla and uh, PHA are uh, polyesters, esters, and they are polymers. Because of that, we can call as polyesters, or simply we call it as polyester. Polyester uh, clothes, uh, very famous. Okay, so PHA and PLA, they are very promising bioplastic. They are plastic. Uh, can be um, once you use it, uh, it can be melt and convert into some other form, and it will work in the same way. Same uh, property will be there. So we call it as bioplastic, which offers several environmental benefit over the traditional plastic. They are biodegradable and makes a very attractive plastic uh, with less uh, pollution. Okay, so we'll move on to the uh, answering part of the question. Explanation of PHA and PLA as bioplastic. The chemical composition PHA are uh, polyesters. PLA are also polyesters. PHA are produced by microbial fermentation of sugar or lipids whereas uh, from uh, cornstarch uh, the PLA is prepared. Uh, PHA consists of hydroxy alkanoate as the monomers. Lactic acid is the monomer for polylactic acid. Monomer means uh, the repeating unit in the structure, long structure. Properties if you say uh, polyhydroxy alkanoate are biodegradable and even biocompatible. Biocompatible means with the human uh, uh, body system, it will uh, work along with that. No immune response will not be there. It can have a range, uh, range of mechanical properties from rigid to elastic, depending on the monomer composition. The thermoplastic properties meaning they can be melted and reformed. Whereas PLA, biodegradable and uh, compostable under industrial composting condition, so that is the point to be noted. Though they are biodegradable, it is not biodegradable in the normal condition. Industrial combusting condition has to be applied so that it will degrade. It can be degraded. That. Okay, high strength and uh, clarity means if you are dumping uh, the uh, material polylactic acid, you should be dumping such composting uh, uh, pits. So high strength and clarity is the similar to the conventional polyethylene tartalate PET. PET polyethylene tartalate is a normally used plastic material which we use commonly. Uh, PLA is a thermoplastic with a melting temperature of around 150 to 160 degree Celsius. Applications in various industries. Uh, application of PHA, packaging materials including uh, bottles and films. Film means uh, sheets plastic sheets only medical applications such as sutures uh, sutures uh, the, uh, the stitching material thread material used in uh, in, uh, in surgery that is called uh, sutures 
because they are uh, biocompatible uh, PHA are biocompatible um, it will not create any harm to our body they are even biodegradable also uh, it is even used in uh, bone plates uh, and uh, bone plates means where our bone uh, needs support uh, it kept there slowly when bone uh, recovers uh, regenerates uh, this will be replaced it is used in drug delivery systems uh, due to its biocompatibility drug delivery system means uh, not like the normal uh, capsule uh, tablet that we eat uh, this consists of uh, even capsules that we use in which uh, the actual drug uh, which is needed for the treatment uh, it will be encapsulated it will be covered within the material compatible material and uh, once it is taken inside it will travel through a bloodstream uh, to the infected region when it reaches the infected region there the infected region is different uh, uh, and um, different condition will be the pH will be different compared to the normal body but the temperature will be different compared to the body temperature based on that uh, it will open up and the drug will be released that is called uh, drug delivery systems it delivers the drug as a, as, a, as a vehicle carries the drug to the place where it has to reach it is even used in agriculture films and controlled controlled release of fertilizers. Controlled release of fertilizers means again the fertilizer is mixed with uh, this type of uh, plastic uh, PHA and kept in the agriculture field. And the fertilizers are released. What uh, how much fertilizer required for a particular plant or root? Uh, with, with, by controlling that, uh, kept uh, the when we pour water or when the day spend the uh, PHA it will degrade and with the degradation the fertilizer will be released from that so that is called as a controlled release of fertilizers controlled release of drug is also there that concept is also there that is drug release in our body where our treatment required the drug material will be reached by this type of material and it will released continuously in a controlled way so that treatment is in a better treatment efficiency will be there Applications of polylactic acid, it is used in food packaging to cover the food material including cups, containers and cutlery. It is used in medical implants and devices taking advantage of its biocompatibility. It is used in 3D printing material, normal 3D printing done by normal 3D printers to make articles, 3 dimensional articles. Same way, uh, 3D printing is possible with uh, polylactic acid so that uh, many even uh, I explained already in uh, my previous classes the heart, uh, artificial heart, artificial organs, artificial organs can also be printed in, by using the 3D printers using PLA as uh, one of the uh, material, ink, ink of, uh, used for the printing. Bio ink, you can treat it as bio ink. Also. It is used in textile fibers for clothing and uh, upholstery. Evaluation of uh, environmental benefits uh, biodegradability and uh, compostability, carbon footprint and sustainability metrics, uh, reduction in plastic waste and environmental pollution. PHA, it is fully biodegradable in a wide range of uh, environments, including soil, marine, and uh, fresh water. It can be degraded by microbial activity returning to the natural carbon cycle. Carbon footprint, uh, production can utilize waste material and uh, non-food crops, uh, reducing the uh, competition with uh, food resources. Uh, it's uh, no need of, uh, uh, take no need to take the crop uh, which is needed for the normal food. E even uh, the waste uh, materials, non-food crops uh, can also be used for the production of uh, polyhydroxyalkanoate. It has got lower carbon footprint compared to petroleum based plastics uh, due to the use of uh, renewable feedstock and uh, it is very high, high potential for reduction in carbon uh, sequestration during the production. A reduction in plastic provides a sustainable alternative to the conventional plastic, reduces long term environmental pollution. Uh, biodegradability helps in uh, mitigating plastic waste, uh, mitigate means controlling or reducing plastic waste uh, accumulation in landfills and uh, natural environments including oceans. In case of uh, PLA, 
PLA, the compostable in uh, industrial uh, composting facilities where specific temperature and humidity conditions are uh, required generally has a lower carbon footprint than conventional plastic, normal synthetic plastic if you compare, especially when produced using renewable energy sources. The life cycle assessment shows reduced greenhouse gas emission compared to fossil fuel based plastic. One more term is that degrades into lactic acid, the under biodegradability and compostability. Uh, the lactic acid is non-toxic and uh, it can be metabolized by microorganisms. Uh, the uh, carbon footprint, uh, however, the cultivation of crops for the PLA can have environmental impacts such as land use and water consumption, which needs to be managed uh, sustainably. And under reduction of plastic waste and environmental pollution, PLA offers a significant uh, reduction in plastic waste in uh, applications where industrial uh, composting uh, facilities are available, contribute to reducing uh, reliance. Uh, on fossil fuels and uh, lowering plastic pollution. Efforts are made to improve the home compatibility and recyclability of PLA are the ongoing research in the field of material science, biomaterial science. Okay, so that's about uh, this particular uh, class video on PLA and PHA with a question and answer type but uh, with this study material, you can, uh, by taking note on this, uh, any type of question which you ask on PHA, PLA, uh, uh, final answer will be similar to this. Okay, so hope this is useful for you. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day.